There is no dispute how difficult the muscle up is. But when it comes to climbing, it seems amateur climbers like me tend to underestimate the difficulty of a climb when we see other people do it. So I decided to play a game to guess the V grade of 5 climbs with 3 climbers. V15 Pro Climber Paul Robinson, V8 Climber Ron, and V3 slash V4 Climber Leland. Let's get right into it. First one. Looks like a really big move, big span out. Pretty good pocket, a little hugging action going, and maybe a little bit of a weird top out. Okay, um, V3. I'll say V4. That looks like a fairly easy one. I'm guessing maybe like a V1, 2. You gotta pick one, V1 or V2. Two. Slab climbs generally look a lot harder than they are graded. It's a big span move on a sloper. So I think just based on that, I'd say it's maybe like a D4. It looks like the holds are pretty good. The footing looks pretty good. The slopers look pretty good. So it's something I would definitely want to try. Okay. Much more technical. Heel hook. Peter just makes it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> he makes everything look easy. This one looks really cool. Come on, come on. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, oh. Right. Wow. Okay, V8. I'm gonna go with a five. That one definitely looks like a, like a four, like a V4. It's a much steeper climb. It requires a lot more strength, a lot more technique. It's a decent amount of moves. The last move looked like a tough last move. So V8, maybe V9. I think the technicality makes a big difference. The holds look pretty okay from this view. Obviously, like, I think the screen is different than going around the boulder and like taking a look, feeling it out a little bit, seeing how slick it is, seeing how much friction you have. So I'd probably pick it around like the five, six range. That would be something that I would like to try. I don't think I could flash that. It would definitely take me a while to get that. So yeah, that would be a project that I'd be working on. So that would be right up my alley. Okay. Okay, next one. That looks fun. Nice. That looks really cool. That looks like a lot of fun. That's beautiful. Wow. Long route. Oy. Nice. That's beautiful. Cool. I'm going to say V six. I kind of think this is like a three. I'm saying that's a V3. I think that it looked easy at the beginning and then a bit of a hard sequence as he kind of traversed around the corner. However, uh, having watched him on the last climb, this climb definitely looked a little bit easier and it looked like there were a lot of good feet and the handholds. The holes look really good, but there might be one or two moves that seem a little bit tougher. And again, it's hard to see or how to know without getting a closer view, but just from the video itself, it's like a three to me. What makes it V3 was that last mantling that he had to do with that ledge. Everything else looks like a V2. Video four. The roof section. Heel hook, keeping the tension. Match. Ooh, high heel hook. Whoa. Come on. Nice. Kind of a desperate right hand throw. This already to me seems like the upper range for sure. Nice. Wow. Good job. Okay. 
A lot harder on this one, I think. I'm going to say B11. It's a little unfair because I know how strong Peter is. So seeing him struggle a little bit just gives me an indication, you know? I'll say nine. That's definitely out of my lead right there. It's probably a five, six. You got to pick one, five or six. Uh, let's go six. You could tell that the spotters were very attentive for one, which means the climber had probably fallen on this climb many times. When he topped it out, he was very excited, much more excited than the last climb. The last climb, he just kind of topped it out with no excitement whatsoever. It looked like he was trying quite hard. I really have no idea how hard this guy climbs. My guess would be that that's V11, and with his excitement of sending it, I'm going to say his max is probably in the V12 range, and that looked not his max max, but it looked difficult for him. So, yeah, we'll stick with V11. If you're barely hanging on and you have to put a heel hook above your hands that makes you horizontal, that's a lot of pressure on your whole body to maintain your body tension. Again, it's kind of hard to judge like the quality of the holds, but just seeing how he's not easily able to cruise through it, that would make me peg it a little bit higher up for sure. Those holds look pretty crimpy. Um, wow, that was good. That was beautiful. Okay, last one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Looks like it's maybe like slightly overhung. Come on. Come on. You got it. Come on. Go. Wow. That was really good. I like how you are cheering for him. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, V10. I want to say this one's like an 11. I'd say probably seven. Those look pretty good. The crux didn't look that terribly hard. I'll stick with nine slash 10 for that one. Compared to the last one, it seemed like the holds potentially were smaller, even though there's no overhung section. It's one of those things where like, if you're able to get a closer look and get a peek on you know how shallow or how good the holds are, I might be wrong, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna say this is 11 based on what I saw. I know it's way above me. I, that would be something I would not even attempt. Way too creepy for me. The first one is a V4. Oh, I was so close. Okay. Oh wow, V4. The second one is a V7. Oh man, I was close. Ooh, seven. Wow. And then the third one is actually a four. Oh, I was a little off. Okay. It's close. So the fourth one is V11. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. And then the fifth one is V10. Oh, cool. I wish I had it. Way above me. <laughs> That's fun. That's cool. That's a lot of cool climbs that I've never seen before. I'm glad I got at least one. Those were beautiful climbs. I loved them. That was so exciting. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment below with your guesses. Special thanks to Peter who agreed to let me use his climbs for this video. As always. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my website, geekclimber.com. See you in the next video.